And that's all the speedway done. Okay, we just want to quit. So, no, that that didn't even take me that long. I've almost been recording for 30 minutes, and I'm almost done with Summer Forest. I've only got one more level to go, then the crush, do the backtracking, and we're good. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and collect this treasure. Um, go ahead and get this, and that way I can get this treasure here. And then we want to come back. This actually took me forever to figure out as a kid. I think I looked this up online to figure out how to get this thing, because I never knew how to get it. Because you're supposed to go I and hover at the end and get this orb in here. So that makes 15 orbs. <clears throat> Alright, there's some treasure right here. Let's go and get this. I just screwed, I can charge through all that. Come through here, get this treasure. And that leads back outside. Alright, there's money bags. Hold on, I just want to make sure I get all the rest of the treasure lying around here. And there we go. Okay, so now we can pay him. Hey, pal. Oh no, it's not a thousand. Huh. That's probably like 400 or something. I don't know, I just remember as a I think as a kid I never collected any of the gems, that's why. I just always sped through everything. Uh. Alright, uh. I think. I think that's all the gems that we can collect. How many do I have? Yeah, that's right, because uh, we have to be able to get them with the climb ability. Uh, the bastard. The funny-looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Okay. Oh yeah, you gotta get a good idea. This level actually is very easy to speedrun. It's actually pretty fun, too. Uh, you wanna get the crabs here. <coughs> Excuse me, I just <laughs> choked on some water I just drank. I gotta hate it when that happens when you're drinking something and all of a sudden you just accidentally choke on it and you just start golfing. I hate that. Ugh, anyway. Okay, let's see. Nope. Alright, just keep getting more treasure. This level again we can complete to 100%. Yeah, you can complete uh, both these levels to 100%. Thank God. Because I don't. I don't really like this all to be completely honest. This is probably my least favorite level out of all of, uh... I'm trying to listen to the music, but I think my TV's too low. I hear the gems coming in just fine, but I'm scared if I have my mic... have my TV too loud, you'll guys hear the game audio through my mic, and I think that's... I hate it whenever I'm watching, like, a commentary over something, and you can hear the game audio, or the... the audio from whatever they're watching. Or the audio from the other person. Like, that annoys the crap out of me. I can't stand it. Ugh. But luckily, most commentators I actually watch do edit that out. Or they fix it to where it doesn't do that. Oh, you can actually, uh... Do that with your fire breath? I never knew that. Well, I probably did in the past, but I don't remember it. Uh, you don't want to go down there, because those guys will pretty much insta-kill you. Because you will have pretty much no recovery time in order to recover. Alright, so let's go under here. And what's here? Okay, just a little ways. You do need gems for this level because I think Moneybags is around here and he'll charge you for a um for a submarine you have to pilot. Well you don't really get the pilot, you just uh go with it. Cause it's on rails. To be completely honest, actually, now that I think about it, I think I like Spyro t uh, 3 soundtrack better than Spyro 2. I'm not entirely sure. I have to go back and listen to it again. But I can't remember some of the uh, some of the boss themes. Or yeah, I think it was the boss theme. I don't know if it was Buzz or someone else. 
I mean, this game's soundtrack is very good too. I just think Spyro 3 probably has the best. Uh, I'll have to go again and listen to it when I get done prior to recording this. Alright, how much are you going to charge me? Hi, Spyro. 100 gems. So that is actually very easy to get. Uh, and I don't touch anything. We will be coming back here, though, to get the treasure when we get the ability to kill these, uh, these, um, sharks. It is possible to kill them. It's just that they pretty much insta-kill you if you do try to do that. Alright, uh, hello. Okay, that guy managed to shot me all the way from there. Taking care of all the enemies before I get the thing. And I also think that's the last of the, uh, switches, too. There we go. How many enemies have I killed? Uh, huh? I didn't see it. Fifteen. I think I had to kill eighteen. Alright, let's see. Uh, up there's the sharks. We want to head this way. Also kind of funny that we started out uh, from the beginning of this area uh, from right down there and now we're at the end. Okay, yeah, I got the super flame. Our world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember okay. us by. Are you sure it's not to help me defeat Ripto? Because I think that's what I'm doing. And that makes seven talismans. Yay. There'll be seven more in the uh, second world, and then at the end, of, and then on the third world, it's all uh, orbs. I don't really like how they kind of did that. I would have loved it if you could, if they kind of forced you to do all the levels, because then you, you're getting to see the entire game. But if they're kind of just doing that, you can, if you had, pretty much if you get all the orcs from the first two worlds, you can go straight and fight Ripto. You don't even have to worry about it. Okay, here I gotta hurry, because I have to kill these things. I gotta actually, oh! Jesus, that, that actually made me jump. Okay, again, you just wanna watch out for these guys, just start shooting them. If you get it on one straight path, you'll be able to kill him. Alright. Yep, that's it. Let's go ahead and get the treasure throughout here. You know, in a way, Moneybags reminds me a lot of Mr. Krabs, or how he is now. I mean, in the beginning of Spongebob, he was actually kind of uh, an okay person. He wasn't a total dick, but... What the hell? I don't know, I'm not going to question it. Where I? I totally went the freaking wrong way. This area kind of all looks the same, that's why I... Uh, alright, anyway, whatever. Alright, we're done with that. Uh, we have to head to one more area, which the shark's in, that I've already shown in the past. So, we want to kind of go through this again. I'm going to get the inside done before I head to the outside, because the outside, actually, you can get lost in pretty easily. Come on, turn around. Alright, and I completely messed that up. Just swim, now go. Turn? Alright. I mean, this thing lasts a long time anyway, so you should have enough time to get to where I'm going. I hate that song, by the way. In a first person mode, and just start shooting in one straight direction, and you'll always hit them. Okay, kill that guy, and. There we go. And that, yep, that's all the treasure for down here, so now it's just on the head straight up. We have to head back to the beginning of the level. But this area all kind of looks the same to me, that's kind of why it's hard. But, here it is. And you just want to head straight up. You know what? Uh, I don't remember in if Legend of the Dra in, uh, not Legend, in Dawn of the, of the Dragon, if you could um, actually swim in the water, because I think there was only one water level in the entire game, and that was Avalar. Yeah, Avalar is actually in Dawn of the Dragon, and I actually think it's a lot... It is probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in a video game. Like on the PS3, I actually have never seen that place in high def, um, but if I do get to the Legend of Spire series later this year, which might be actually pretty soon, hopefully, if I get everything right, because... Um, I have still a lot of birthday money left over, and I'm actually going to be, um, uh, screw this, I'll, I'll do it maybe later, I want to get the rest of the treasure, um, because I only need to buy, uh, the Eternal Night, and I'll have all the Legend of Spyros, 
Um, because I've already got the rest of the, Le the Legend of Zelda's, this, uh, and all that. Like, I got Link's Awakening and Four Swords Adventures again, so... That's, a, that's good for me, so that means I can finally LP them. Uh... Which, I mean, I am gonna get to later this year, but I just don't know when. I'll talk to that guy in, in just a minute, that way I can start his little side quest. Alright, where is the last... oh. Uh, Sparks, you're pointing straight up. Okay. But yeah, if I get Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon, I'm gonna have to get it on the Wii again. I'm gonna have to get it on the Wii. I already have it on PS3, but my PS3 is still broke, and I don't think it's gonna get fixed anytime soon, so I might as well rebuy it on the Wii. If he keeps saying it's in there... No? Where the hell are you pointing to, good dude? Is it still down here? I thought I got all the treasure. Ah, crap, I can't see. I'm. It's hard to hold the four shoulder buttons and keep doing this. Where the hell are you pointing me to, dude? Aha! I thought I missed these up here. And there we go, we're done with uh, the treasure. Now I can head back and get the shark and get the uh, the uh, three orbs in this level. I think it takes about 40 to finish the game completely, so... You do have to require a, li a lot, but they give you so many in the final world to make up for it. Let's go and do this one, because this one's the most annoying. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and hidden them in the tops of these... Now shut up, King Flippy. Alright, so... Yeah, 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 shut up. If you can make it... This is actually very easy. It's actually a good idea to scout out ahead of the level and get this place memorized. Uh, yeah, as you see, there's these electric fences, but I don't care because I just kind of forced my way through it. Alright, I don't think they activate on your way down, and I don't know if this thing is time limited or not. Which one is this? That's number one. I saw number two over here. Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. There are some crabs in these. Okay, that was not fair because I didn't. Couldn't help it. Come on. There we go. Okay, that one's at the beginning of the level, and number four is right beside it, so you cannot possibly miss these things. Uh, let me kill this sheep. Again, how does this work? Don't ask me. Uh, where is the, uh,. Thing. It's the manta ray. I'll do that in a minute. Yes. All right, number three. Okay, they just had the crab, which he didn't even try to attack me. So it's not like it's not really a threat. Number four is right beside that. Uh, okay. I could probably forced my way through this, but I'm not gonna be that much of an impatient guy. Oh, go, 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 go! I guess I had to. I didn't think they were going to be that fast. Alright, that's uh, not that far. I know where that's at. That's kind of near where I had to get the uh, last two gems. Alright. Come up here. Uh, where's number five? There it is. Again, I'm going to just force my th way through this. As long as you have sparks up the golden health, I think it doesn't really matter. Number six, I know where that's at. Hey, I actually killed the crab. Okay, we... Ah, uh, crap. God, this area, it all looks the same. Uh, let's head back to the beginning of the level and we can just go through there, because that's where it is. Okay, we just want to head up here and number six will be right here. Just head down. Then straight up. 